By the way, wanted to mention, these are all English walnuts. Picked them all off my dad's tree, or I should say I picked them off the ground and raked the leaves back and forth. This is a, the smaller bag. This is off just the one tree. We got a few more here. And let me see over here. I use this thing. It's really nice to pick them up and I don't have to bend over to get them. So anyway, uh, I got them all picked up and there's lots of leaves falling off the tree and the day the next day dad went over there and mowed and tried to get the leaves moved out of the way, chewed up anyway. So I plan going over later today and see if there's any more to pick up, which I'm sure there are, and I might bring my rake with me because I haven't seen just what it looks like since dad's mowed, but the grass is getting tall also, and the leaves, oh my gosh, I was using this thing to rake the leaves back to find the nuts. So we'll check that out a little bit later. Oh, we might even check out the garden. It's amazing, when the rain started, I'd swear we must have been watering enough, even though I watered the heck out of it. But the sunflowers, they got humongous, great big heads on them. And my carrots, they were just those itty bitty things. Now they're nice big carrots. Got some length to them. Delicious. It's froze here already. The tomatoes, the plants are all kind of burnt, I guess we'll say. Dad went out there and picked a bunch of tomatoes too, and we have been eating the tomatoes. Love those bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches slathered with mayonnaise. Okay, I'm here with my fancy dancy tool. Picking my dad's English walnuts. This way I don't have to bend over, stand back up, bend over. But I wanted to show you this is the best way to find them. They're already starting to crack. And they're ready to go into the sack to dry, which I use a netted sack that you'd find, an onion sack, I guess would say. But the ones that are cracking, these are the best to get. They're so easy, they're so clean. Now, oops, come back here. This one's not too bad, but you'll see that it's already drying with it. I don't like that because the green side comes off real easy. The rest of it is hard to get off. And the only reason why you're taking the husk off is to get the nut to dry faster. I'd rather find them on the ground like this. But I brought over a few of them that I haven't pulled the husk off yet. Like I say, it's hard to get off and they already turned black. And they're kind of, I don't know the best word to use, but I'll just say they're snotty when they're wet. And you really start, as you can see, I'm already starting to turn black. That's why I say the nice green ones are already starting to crack. They just pop right out. So when the nuts become ripe, you need to get out there as they fall and hopefully that's what you'll get. Sometimes you find them just laying on the ground already husked for you. Other times you find them where they tried to get out but couldn't. And like I say, the, that husk in so many words doesn't matter too much because you're interested in the nut inside. So anyway, like I say, when they, when they start getting slimy or whatever, I'll set them on the ground and roll my foot on them. I have a tennis shoe to get that husk off of there. Or if I have way too many, I wouldn't even care about them. Eventually that husk will fall off and you'll find them on the ground if the birds don't get them first. Let's look at that, how nice they peel. These are the English walnuts. My dad's got two trees. 
I videotaped them earlier this spring, I think, when I was talking about the garden. And the one, oops, the one tree bloomed out with leaves and everything first, and then the second one finally did. Well, I wasn't paying attention to, to the trees, and the first tree that bloomed out the leaves, those were ripe a month ago. I didn't realize it. Now they're all this black stuff like this. And I don't want to deal with them. And just for myself, there's plenty of nuts on that coming off that tree. I don't have to worry about those old black ones. Beautiful green ones. Just popping right out. Now my sister-in-law, which I might do if I get the time. See how this one's all dried up on there? It's coming off better than normal. Anyway, my sister-in-law, she doesn't screw around with wait, waiting for them to dry. What she'll do is she'll crack them open, take the nut out, and let them dry that way. And the best way actually then is to use a food dehydrator uh, to let them dry. Because if you put a bunch of them that have been cracked open, they'll start to mold because they're still wet. They need to dry out a bit so they don't rot. Anyway, I threw a bunch of these in my bucket just to show you. And Oh, by the way, you notice the shape. I want to call it an egg shape. It's not quite an egg shape. And the only reason I'm bringing that to your attention is because I have a black walnut tree. Now, that's a tree behind me. I'll videotape that too and show it to you. See, actually the husk is following that nut. It's that shape. But uh, I'll show you that black walnut tree. It, it's kind of scary at night because I have a metal roof behind me over the lawnmower and tractor. And when those things fall and hit that, good lord, you think the the world's coming to an end. Anyway, let's just say that's enough of this. I'll take you over in a little bit and show you my dad's trees again on what they look like and you can still see there's still a lot of nuts up above. So let me set this bucket aside and I'll show you my tree. Okay, here's my black walnut tree. Of course I did leave the mic sitting on the table. What's new? Anyway, look at all them up there still. There's thousands of them up there. Now this black walnut is a smaller nut than the English walnut, but just the same, they still have the big husk and they don't split out like the English walnut. You can see it looks like an apple, but look at the husk that's on there. It's just kind of messy inside. It's usually best just to take your foot and rub it on the ground to pop that nut out and it doesn't even look black does it well when it dries out that outside nut will be hard in fact you can throw these things in the driveway run them over the car and it's not going to hurt them one bit there's a black one anyway to get these things to pop open you, you need a real good nut cracker or take a hammer and a brick or a piece of railroad railroad iron or something to uh, be able to pop those things open you see these things are just kind of gross normally what I do is I'll pick them up after smashing the husk off I'll take them dump them in the yard and hose the heck out of them because that's not gonna hurt a thing then I then I'll dry them you can see I mowed the lawn right here, didn't mow too deep because I didn't want those nuts flying and hitting my fifth wheel trailer. Look at that. Real easy to get off with your foot, but they're so gross. In my opinion, the black walnut are stronger flavor, and you can see they're a smaller nut. They haven't fallen all over the ground here. Kind of right over here. Anyway, I'll dry these up, I think. I think I'll dry these up and do a comparison a little bit later.
make a new year. Give it a minute. Okay, so let me take you over to my dad's. Show you his English walnut. Okay, these are my two, my dad's two English walnut trees. They're the ones with all the leaves left on them. And then my dad's got the two black walnuts that are right there with all the leaves off of it. And they're still dropping nuts all over the ground, which is uh, frightening when you're over here picking up the other nuts because the birds go up there and they start playing with those black walnuts up there. And then they start falling like rain. Can you imagine those things hitting you in the head? There goes one now. So anyway, I got all these pretty much picked up. There's one. Oh, it's a bitty one. That's what I usually look for. Or get them when they have their husk. And over here, again, you can see all these nuts laying all over the ground. So I don't care for the black walnuts because they're difficult to get into unless you have a hammer and a brick underneath or better yet a steel piece of railroad track or something. It, so it, once they've rotted off good you can get those out of there. And then what you do is take them in your yard and hose them. And then you can dry them. So that way they, they're a little bit cleaner. They almost look like apples all over the place, but <laughs> they're not. Okay, let's go over and take a look at Dad's garden. Just to show you, Dad wanted to get rid of the goldfish. So we, or uh, Brother Bob and I, fished all the goldfish out. There's a pond he had in the ground. And we planted the fish somewhere else. Bye goldfish. There, you can see them in the water there. Oh yeah, they're all straight down there. They're all in shock. <laughs> yeah, they gotta learn what spiders are and everything else. <laughs> 